everybody. I'm just doing a quick video from my sound healing room here in Northeast Kansas. <clears throat> I wanted to talk to you a little bit about a class I'm doing through the Global Center for Advanced Studies called Introduction to Sound Practice for Well-Being. It's going to start on August 4th. It'll run every other day for uh, two-hour sessions for five sessions, and we're going to be exploring a lot of different ways to listen and to make sound using whatever available tools we have. I've got a lot of tools and toys here in my room, but these aren't necessary to start getting into your own sound practice. Everybody's got a rattle. I found this pan in my pantry that actually makes a really beautiful sound. So part of what we're going to be doing is exploring whatever you have, including your voice listening to the complexity of all those sounds and then trying to figure out maybe how we can use those sounds to become more present to become more in the moment in your daily life one of my favorite instruments is this uh, homemade rattle that a friend of mine made she had a long stay in the hospital and had a whole bunch of pill bottles that she painted white and filled with that sounds like it's maybe filled with popcorn. Not, not exactly sure what she put in them. This is one of my favorite rattles because it's literally full of medicine, her medicine and the medicine that she received through her healing process. So I wanna just tell you that it, uh, it doesn't matter what instruments you have, it doesn't matter what experience you have. This is not a music class. Uh, I'm not gonna be teaching music. Uh, I'm asking people to read this phenomenal book called The Music Lesson by Victor Wooten. It's really a fantastic book. Um, there's not actually any music in it, so it's, it's, uh, it's not about how to make music or how to play music. It's about how to connect music and sound with your soul and with your spirit and to imbue whatever sound you make in the world with your own spirit. It's a really fantastic book for getting deeper into what we think of as music and what we think of as sound. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this class. So uh, I hope you'll join me. We're going to be teaching it online through Zoom so you can do it from the comfort of your own home, which means you can practice things while we're doing it without worrying about other people listening.
you'll think of joining me for this class, Introduction to Sound Practice for Wellbeing. It's offered from 11 to 1, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. It's offered through Zoom. And we'll be practicing a lot of exercises on both listening and making sound in your own way. I'll put links in the comments.